fighting out of Washington, Tyne and Weir. She has become a dominant force in the wrestling industry. And there is Gia Adams looking to take a title that she has not yet managed to get her hands on. One of the few women's titles in the north of England that she hasn't been able to get her hands on. And today I'm born by someone who is very familiar to the Rice faithful, but not as we know it. Cindy, best of luck in her future endeavors. And we welcome Natalie Sykes to rise. And Sykes, another one of those performers as we talked about earlier with Joe Wade, as we talked about with Jack Landers. Somebody who's been making waves since wrestling made its return. You may have seen Natalie Sykes down at Pro Wrestling Eve taking part in the Rumble. Great showing by Sykes there. More and more places are getting hooked on Sykes. And here at Rise, where it all began for her, she's back to fight for the Women's Championship. So Voodoo Queen Armara, as we heard from Danny O'Doherty, forfeiting the Women's Championship, competing in this tournament to determine undisputedly who is the Women's World Champion here at Rice. And our first match is a true, want to call it a Davina versus Goliath maybe? As Gia Adams is just a dominating presence and Natalie Sykes is establishing dominance of her own. The 21st century liability. Sykes looking to, to show up Gia Adams here tonight. They say you never get a second chance to make a first impression. That's exactly what is happening with Natalie Sykes here at Rise. And look at this, Gia Adams getting angry. The last thing you want to do is get Gia Adams wound up. Washy girls will do you bad. Oh, I chop across the throat. All that's done is wake up Gia Adams. It was the calmness then that rattled me. Gia Adams just absorbing this punishment and just sort of... You can see her seething. Oh! Natalie Sykes landing badly into that steel chair. That may have scrambled, scrambled the brain of Natalie Sykes and all of a sudden, just like that, Gia Adams has shut down Sykes. Adams and Sykes no doubt be looking down the road in this tournament to face Voodoo Queen Armara. The former champion certainly was something to prove later on. But right now, they have to focus on the match at hand. As we begin the groundwork to crown a new women's champion here at Rise, we get ready for the ground to shake later as the Outlaw Cup gets underway. Big effing Joe, Danny Darker, Michael Caden, and Lou Nixon are going to rip the Iger Studios apart later on tonight. That's when you know Rise is back. When you see those four tearing strips off one another. Gia Adams looking to tear a strip off Natalie Sykes tonight. 
Doesn't matter your name. Doesn't matter your backstory. Doesn't matter your narrative. Doesn't matter what you're packing when Gia Adams is attacking. Adams has been dominant everywhere she's gone as of late. Since wrestling got back up and running, Gia Adams has been on a roll, the likes of which she's never had before. Current reigning champion of BWR, just down the road in Grimsby. We're familiar with those guys. And it would be a statement, two count for Natalie Sykes. It would be a statement if Gia Adams can hold two major championships for the North of England at the same time. We also saw Gia Adams in that Wrestle Queendom Rumble just the other weekend. We had a little flavor of this match during that match. But right now, it's not about what's going on down in London. It's all about up here. It's only in wrestling where the heart is at the top. Rest and look at this. Less about the heart and more about the arm as Gia looks to rip Sykes' off. Roll up! Are you kidding? Sykes just shook the world! The 21st century liability has punched her ticket to the next round of the tournament! Natalie Sykes just... The Gia Adams looks mortified! Well, I'll repeat it once more. They say you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Natalie Sykes did just that. And she is rolling in the Women's Underground Tournament. Natalie Sykes 